Hey everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Harvest Moon 64. I am Mega Free 400, and time for some more. Actually, we're gonna be working on the hot spring a little bit. And yeah, I this is the time where I was like, oh, it's my birthday, and it's not my birthday. Um, because my birthday is the I think he said the 21st. It's actually the 24th, I believe. I think. I don't know. You'll you'll see what it is. I'm pretty sure. But yeah, it's. There's always a certain date, and I think it's the 24th, I believe. I I know when it is, I just don't know when it is, so... I feel like I could look that up, I guess. Look up. Uh, events. And maybe it's not the 24th, maybe it's the 22nd. I don't know, whatever. And don't bother telling me in the, the comments, because I, I know where it is. It's I just don't remember the exact date. And then someone already said it before anyway, so it's... I mean, obviously, it's like, I know where it is, except for I don't. But, um... Yeah, don't bother telling me, because I already, I already... It's not going to affect anything, basically. Besides me just, oh, okay, yeah, that was it. Um, and I'll, f I'll figure it out eventually anyway, so, yeah. Anyway, um... What else can I? I don't really. What else? Um, well, been trying to get more. Uh, I I bet on a buying spree of sorts for games, trying to get a lot of um, you know more obscure, more rare. Not only really rare, but more third-party games, more games I've never played, um, less mainstream games, I guess. And uh, let's see, what games have I gotten recently? Well, I bought. Technically, this isn't too rare, ironically. Um, but uh, Conqueror's Bad Fur Day, I bought. Um, I bought Kelowna Wii. Uh, the, basically, it's a remake of the first Kelowna game. Probably pronouncing it wrong. I got uh, Zack and Wiki for the Wii, which I've heard is quite good. Um, I don't know if I said this already before in a video, but I got A Boy in His Blob for the Wii as well. And it wasn't really any other DS games I think I've gotten since, um, Layton and Monster Tales. I think the last ones I've gotten for that, for the DS. Um, but yeah, I've been, I've been trying to make like a sort, uh, I've been, well, I got, oh, I got Mischief Makers. I don't know if I said that, but that was another game I got that was third party of sorts. Alright. Well, not my third. I guess it's kind of it's obscure, but I've been trying to work on getting. Ironically, it's like I this summer I've been trying to uh, beat a bunch of games that I haven't beaten yet, and try and limit the amount of games I've not. Sorry, um, that I've not beaten, but uh, ironically, I've been increasing my game library so much so that that's becoming really hard to do. Um, because every time I beat a game, I buy two more. And I still don't even have all the games I probably would want to try. You know, my library is only, like, I think 300 games made. Oh, is it 300 or is it only 200? I almost want to say it's... Man, I almost think it's 300. Maybe. No, I almost think I, I, I'm I'm overestimating. I don't, maybe it's only 200. Eh, it might be 300. Either way, it's still not that much. Um... It's really quite limited because I, I know everyone's like who who, who only doesn't have that many games is like what limited? You have 300 games. <laughs> what are you smoking? But I mean, in reality, if you look at how many great games there are out there, I really don't have that many. I I'm really you know I am limited in the terms in comparison to how many games there are out there that I would want to actually own. Um. Of course, part of that number is increased by the VC, so it's not like I own that many physical games. I do own quite a bit of physical games, though, so it's not like I'm completely devoid of physical games. Um, and I actually want to get a PS2 at some point, because there's a ton of great games for that that I you know, would enjoy getting. Not so much the PS2 portion, but more the PS1 portion. There's a lot of games for the PS1 I would actually... Crash 2, I have Spyro 2 actually, I got from a friend, but I can't play it obviously all that often because I don't have a PS1 or a PS2. I mean, I could just buy a PS1, but part of me wants to buy a PS2 so that I just have... Um, a, because I think the PS2 has the disc 
drive probably works better than the uh, PS1's disk drive. Because I remember my, my brothers actually had a PS1 at some point, and they, uh... It, it, it was prone to, like, scratching the disc or skipping. Um, it was just the PS1, but... It was actually... That's how I got into, like, some of the PS1 games. I played Crash 2, I played Spyro 2. Yeah, I know, I'm, I'm, I'm ironic like this. I, I... I always prefer and I always tend to play the sequels before the prequels or before the first game for a lot of series. Played Majora's Mask for Ocarina of Time, enjoyed Majora's Mask obviously better. Um, Banjo 2 for Kazooie, uh, Dark and Country. Mm, I didn't really think I played one, but I played two and three more than those, than one. Um, Mario Party 3 and 3. Well, no, I, no that's not true. I, I didn't play it before, but I do enjoy two and three more than one for Mario Party. Um, so yeah, I'm ironic like that with sequels, which theoretically any sequel could be better because it improves upon, um, old mechanics. Sequels aren't bad, it's just when, you know, sequels are just unoriginal and don't do anything new. That's when it's like, okay, maybe try something new. Heck, I don't mind, I don't mind if games have the same series character, like for example Epic Yarn. Epic Yarn is entirely different from the regular Kirby games. I don't mind the fact that it has Kirby. Um, you know, it's just a new gameplay experience. But of course, then there's, then there's the people who are like, oh, it, it's not good because it's it's not Kirby. But then there's people who are, oh, Kirby again? Again, you're not going to be able to please everyone. Everyone's going to, someone's going to complain. But, um, what was I? Oh, PS, PS1. So there's a lot of games with the PS1 I'd be interested in. Uh, I want to play Chrono Cross, Final Fantasy VII, I guess, technically. I, I've never, at Technically, I have uh, Fire Final Fantasy 2 for the SNES. Though I think it's technically not 2. It's like uh, 4, 5. No, I think it's 4. No, maybe it's 3. I don't know. Whatever. Um, no, I think it's, actually, yeah, it is 4. But uh, that I have that I still need to play. Again, that's on my whole list of games I need to play. And whenever 3 comes out for the VC, I want to play that because that's the one I've heard is probably one of the best. 3, technically, it's 6, I think. Where's it? Five. And I'll screw, screw North America and messing up the names for the original Final Fantasy games. Because they, like, released one of them. I think they released one in both North America and Japan. Then they skipped two and three, and then released four as two. And then they skipped five, and then released six as three. And then seven, and then they just they fixed it from there. But, um, I think that's how it went. I'm pretty sure. But it's convoluted either way. It's it's horrendously convoluted. Um, but yeah, I'm and so yeah, uh, banjo or banjo crash. I was yeah, crash bandicoot two. Um, I remember back in the day when I my brothers had a PlayStation, they had this puzzle game, this jigsaw game, a competitive uh, puzzle game against each other. That was really fun. I wouldn't mind getting again. But um. Yeah, I, I obviously there's no reason not to buy a PS2 because I can get it from a used store probably for fifty dollars. But the problem is, I'm not. It's ironic because I'm willing to spend fifty dollars on a game or slash spend overall fifty dollars on multiple games, but uh, I'm hesitant to spend it on a PS2. Probably because of the hookups, I guess, to an extent, because I think that will increase it. But at the same time, it's it's kind of the, the faulty of the human race because it, it, the same reason why I'm not into watching movies for a long period of time. People are always willing to uh, watch or pay for small parts even if it ends up costing more than, than buying one big thing. Buying a TV for $300, whoa, that's, that's way too much. I'm going to have to hold off. But then people are fine with buying um, goods that in total go up to $300 because um, you know, I guess it's you feel there's more uh, value in getting more for the price, which fair enough. But if you buy three hundred dollars worth of like slinkies, I think a TV in some cases would be better. Well, I don't know, three hundred dollars worth of slinkies would be pretty awesome to be honest. I guess I can't really defend that argument because yeah, three hundred dollars worth of slinkies. Who wouldn't want three hundred dollars worth of slinkies? And here's the hot screen that we built, which unfortunately it makes all the logs to disappear, so that sucks. Our wood source is kind of depleted up here, but yeah, it's not too bad because we're, we we got enough wood for the most part, and 
Um, I think you get like five logs per stump, so it's we still have quite a bit of availability to wood, and we won't need too much more. Um, I guess not too well, some more, but it's not again. Aside from the greenhouse, uh, kitchen's probably the second biggest extension, maybe. And I could be wrong on that. But yeah, when you do this, the uh, when you finally build the hot spring, you'll actually get a photo for completing the hot spring. So it's worth doing the hot spring. And again, you get paid for it, so, you know, no, not really any downside for building a hot spring. I really like the face that you get from, uh, was it Sabrasa? Whatever his name is, the artisan. It's kind of nice to have on the table. It just brightens up the room. Brightens up this gloomy winter day. It's getting colder. Please take care of yourself. Don't catch a cold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had enough colds in fall. And what's over here? We'll send you. Okay, yeah, yeah. That's the carpenter thing. Let's go. Well, let's go feed our animals. We'll look at that picture later. So yeah, I guess I guess I'll talk about it now real quick. Um, and I'm thinking of actually having a video about it, so I'm not gonna go into great detail. But basically. For those of you who are like, Mega, this is boring, it's been 40 videos of this, or, not 40 videos, right now it's 37, but, um, of the same thing over and over again. Uh, for those people, I'm definitely, I'm thinking about how I'm going to situate year two. I, I want to do year two because, um, you know, you don't have, it's the evaluation, I kind of want to go through year two and there's some cool stuff to show off. At the same time, I know... I don't want this project going for 80 videos at all. I don't want to even go over 60 videos. So, um, I actually will probably have a video asking opinions about, uh, how I sh what I should do for the second year. Don't bother putting them in this comments, because I'll probably have a video for it. Um, like a separate announcement video. Um, but yeah, I, I will say, it, for those of you who are kind of frustrated with how long this project's taking, um, I, I, I do realize that, and part of it is, you know, this was an interesting project to start because of the how it works, and unlike games like, you know, Animal Crossing of the same, or Animal Crossing or SimCity of the same kind of per, uh, sort of persuasion of this kind of gameplay style, this one actually has kind of an end of sorts. Cause if I if you know if I if I could end it year one I'd end it year one have it you know but I could end it year one I guess but I feel like the evaluation is just a better closing point in general. So anyway, yeah 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 run out of strength. Oh you can't do anything yeah yeah yeah. Uh, things you can find in the mine you can find a power berry. Yeah, I think you have to go to the second floor at least. There's also a weather vane. Um, and I'm kind of spoiling, but the weather vane basically, I think, is a reference to the first game where it kept getting lost. I don't think there's any point to the weather vane other than just giving it to Rick and he, he being like, oh, weather vane. Yeah, I think this town is actually the same one from the SNES game, and I actually almost feel like your grandpa was the character in the SNES game, but don't quote me on that. Though I think Flowerbud Village is in a lot of the Harvest Moon games. And crap, I think I'm gonna get sick. I hope I don't. Because my face was like. No, don't work me, I'm gonna get sick. So yeah, this can take a while, that's why I'm speeding it up, because, um... Oh crap, that's not good. But as you can see, uh... You have to kind of get lucky. I mean, I'm doing quite a huge chunk, and I still haven't found the hole to the second uh, area. Try and you know continue downward. You had to just get lucky, basically. Like you could probably get, like if you're lucky enough, you can get a hole in the first, uh, first chance you you know first swing of the hoe. But fortunately, I was not lucky in that run of my run run of the mine, I guess. I guess. So as you can see, I'm slowly building up my cash flow. I mean, in the winter there's not a ton to buy, so you can sl store up cash. Once you want to buy extensions, of course. But um. No need to buy seeds, and no need to buy, you know, I guess fodder for the animals, but that's about it. And helping out with the carpenters obviously helped in, um, increasing my cash flow. And yeah, um, I think I mentioned that I did kind of discover that 
Yeah, I think I did that. I mentioned that you still do get paid uh, if you put stuff in. It carries over to the next day. So let's go to bed. Ah, oh, I did get sick. Crap. It's not good for my animals. I hope Slim doesn't die. Or SM for that matter. Anyway, uh, this has been Mega Hunter. I'm reminding you that N likes making me soup.